There's been a lot of hype around DeepSeek lately. Everyone's talking about it. Some people say it's a serious competitor to ChatGPT. Others claim it's even better at certain tasks. So, of course, I had to check it out for myself. My name is Daniel, and in this video we will talk about what this AI can do. From solving tricky riddles, to writing poetry, generating code, and even building games, DeepSeek promises a lot. But does it actually deliver? Well, I tested it on a bunch of different challenges. And trust me, the results were pretty interesting. Let's dive in. What is DeepSeek? DeepSeek is an AI-powered tool designed to help people find information quickly and easily. Think of it like a super smart search assistant that understands what you're looking for and gives you accurate answers without making you dig through tons of results. Instead of just showing you links, it processes your question, looks at a bunch of data, and gives you a clear, direct response. It was developed by DeepSeek AI, a Chinese AI research company, and launched in late 2023. The team behind it specializes in artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and machine learning, aiming to build smarter AI tools that make searching and data analysis easier. What makes DeepSeek different is how advanced its AI is. It's trained to understand natural language, so you can ask questions the way you would talk to a friend. Whether you're researching a topic, looking for specific data, or even trying to understand complex ideas, DeepSeek simplifies the process. It's also built to be fast and efficient, meaning you don't have to waste time scrolling through endless pages of information. Just type in your question, and DeepSeek will do the work for you, delivering the best possible answer in seconds. Let's dive in and see what it can do. How it works. Now, let's dive right into DeepSeek and see what it can do. First, let's sign up. The process is super simple. No phone number, no unnecessary personal details, just an email. You can even register using Google. Once you're in, you can switch between light and dark mode and choose either English or Chinese as your preferred language. The profile settings are minimalistic, so there's not much to set up. Now, let's start testing DeepSeek's capabilities. First things first, I'm gonna ask it to tell us about itself. Pretty quick response. It says it's an AI helper made by DeepSeek, a company in China. Now, here's something interesting. Let's ask how it's different from ChatGPT. Check out what it said. I'll let you read all the details yourself if you want to pause. But what I really like is how clean and organized the answer is. It breaks everything down super neatly. You've got your intro, then six main differences, and wraps it all up at the end. And bonus points, it didn't take forever to respond. Ok, let's check out how smart it is with some brain teasers. I started with a super easy kids riddle. Kate's mother has three children, Snap, Crackle and… It's a classic riddle where the answer is hidden in the question. And you know what's cool? It totally got it right, figured out the answer is Kate, and showed all its thinking. Way clearer than ChatGPT or Gemini, if you ask me. Ok, now let's give it something a little trickier. How many months have 28 days? DeepSeek didn't fall for the trap, the right answer is all months have 28 days. And as you can see, the AI really broke its response down and explained why people might get confused. Pretty smart. Let's try another one. When Grant was 8, his brother was half his age. Now Grant is 14. How old is his brother now? And again, DeepSea crushed it, got the right answer, 10 years old, and showed exactly how it got there. Super helpful if you're trying to understand this stuff. Ok, let's do another one. Two fathers and two sons spent the day fishing, but only caught three fish. This was enough for each of them to have one fish. How is this possible? And again, DeepSea breaks down its response, explaining its logic in great detail and even drawing a family tree. The answer is correct. There are three individuals, grandfather, his son, and his grandson. 
and I'll try the last one. There are three apples in the basket, and you take away two. How many apples do you have now? Deepseek breaks it down for us again and offers the right answer, two apples. All right, let's test out something fun, seeing if Deepseek can get creative. I asked it to make one of those customer journey maps, you know, for a web design company. Like something you'd show in a meeting. It can't make actual PowerPoint slides, but check this out. It laid out all the important stuff super neatly. Like here's your title slide, here's what goes on each page, all that good stuff. And I have to say, it did a way better job organizing everything than ChatGPT or Gemini. Way less messy, if you know what I mean. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the content I make. Okay, time to see if it can handle some coding stuff. I'm gonna ask it to make us a Telegram bot in Python. You know, one of those that reminds you about stuff. And boom, super fast. Gave us everything we need, got the whole code ready to go, told us what extra stuff to install, and even explained how to get it running. Pretty sweet. One thing though, if you're hoping to show it pictures and get help that way, no dice. It can only read text, not like Claude that can check out your screenshots and stuff. But hey, when it comes to straight up coding, this thing's got skills. And check this out, guys. I threw a fun challenge at it. Asked it to write a poem like Lord Byron would. And guys, it actually turned out pretty awesome. I got specific with what I wanted. You know, all those fancy parts like prologue and build up and big dramatic moment and all that. It totally nailed it. Called it the Neural Dawn, a tale of woven minds. How cool is that? The whole thing was way better than I expected from an AI. Time to try something really cool, making a game. I asked it to create one of those simple shooter games you can play in your browser, using JavaScript. And wow, it hooked us up! Gave us all the code we need, plus explained how everything works. I tested it on CodePen and it actually works. Like for real, not just some broken mess. And hey, if something goes wrong, you can just ask it to fix the code. Pretty handy. No more scratching your head trying to figure out what's broken. Let me show you this really cool feature. It's called Deep Think Mode. Pretty fancy name, right? So I tested it with some super hard math stuff, like figuring out how heat and energy work in science. You just turn on this special mode and watch this. It starts breaking everything down step by step like having a super patient teacher. The best part is that it writes out all those complicated math formulas super clearly. You know, not like that messy handwriting your math teacher uses. Makes it way easier to follow along. If you're stuck with homework or working on some complicated project, this thing's basically like having a smart friend who explains everything really clearly. final thoughts. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's video. So after putting DeepSeek to the test, I've got to say, it definitely lives up to the hype. Whether it's solving tricky riddles, generating code, or even building games, it handles all of it with ease. The best part is how it breaks down its answers in a super clear and understandable way. A lot better than a lot of other AI tools out there. If you're someone who needs quick answers, or maybe you're looking for some creative help, DeepSeek's got you covered. It's fast, accurate, and doesn't leave you digging through endless pages to get what you need. Plus, the Deep Think mode is a game changer for those of us who need a bit of extra help with complex stuff. Overall, I think DeepSeek is definitely worth checking out. It's a solid tool that does more than just give you info. It helps you understand it. What do you think, folks? 
And hey, I'd love to see what you come up with. Let me know in the comments. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.